Hey, welcome everyone to Chair Yoga Today with CMOA. I'm Lydia and I'll be leading this class today. Um, this is our second class for the month of May, so we will be back again next week. I'd love to see you again. Before we get started, I'd like to just give a shout out to the Campbell Foundation for supporting this program. So thank you to the Campbell Foundation. With that, we'll go ahead and just take a moment to center ourselves before we get moving. So just find a comfortable position in your chair, wherever you are. You can close the eyes if that feels good and just take a moment to come into the current moment. Try to let go of any thoughts about the past, any thoughts for the future and just be here now for these next 30 minutes. You can connect with your breath. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. To help you ground into this moment. If your eyes are closed, you can gently open them. And then we'll go ahead and look at our selection for today. Here we're looking at the sculpture, sculpture Spiral Station by Thaddeus Mosley. I'll give a brief description and then we will do a cleansing yoga sequence with a lot of spiraling and twisting. Pittsburgh based artist Thad Mosley is now 95 years old and is still carving monumental sculptures from fallen trees. In 2018, he was a featured artist in the 57th Carnegie International exhibit, exhibiting a series of wooden sculptures, some large, some small. Some were carved by hand from a single log and some were carved in sections and fit together on site like the work that inspired today's class. Mosley finds inspiration in artists such as Brancusi, jazz music, African masks, and the shapes of the logs he finds. Carnegie Magazine wrote the following about Thad in, in 2018. Renowned for his energy and work ethic, the self-taught artist works at a pace that even at his age hasn't changed all that much in decades. In midlife, Mosley would carve for eight hours a day after working his full-time night job at the US Postal Service, a stable means to an end position he held for 40 years while raising six kids and 12 hours a day on weekends. Today, he spends five to seven hours a day in his rented basement studio on the north side, working creatively, among a forest of sculptures, a few nearly twice his size. Occasionally, he takes a break on a Sunday to visit family. I work faster now, but I worked longer when I was younger, says Mosley. Turning wood and stone into art is not a fast process. Many of Mosley's sculptures include four or five components some weighing more than 100 pounds each. A large work usually takes him a month or two to complete. Some take up to four. My studio makes me want to work, says Mosley, whose compact muscular build hints at the vigor needed to coax his sculptures to life. At night, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do the next day. I always believe I'm going to do something better than I've done before. Maybe it doesn't happen, but it's a challenge and I find satisfaction in it. I have a sense of urgency while I'm able to do it." End quote. So we'll take a moment to look at this sculpture once again. As you look at this, just notice this spiral going up towards the top of the sculpture. How 
how does this make you feel looking at the lines and the movement of the wood? To me, this makes me feel energized. So I think it's very interesting hearing Thad's words, Thad Mosley's words, um, and his commitment and energy to his craft and art form. So take another moment just to consider this energy, the energy communicated through this work. And then check in with yourself. You can close your eyes. Just check in with your own energy level today. Start to connect with your breath. Feel the air moving in and out of your body. You can even imagine this as bringing new energy into your own body. Focus on the breath for a couple more moments and you can even visualize the breath moving into the body, spiraling, just like the sculpture. Imagine the breath moving down into the depths of the lungs, spiraling around and then spiraling out on the exhale. Continue with this visualization as you energize your body and prepare to move. Take one more deep breath wherever you are as you continue to imagine the air spiraling in and out. And you can return to your natural breath. If it feels okay, you can breathe in and out through the nose for this class to bring fresh, clean air into the body. And then gently open your eyes. We'll move a little bit, beginning with the neck. You can just drop one ear down to the shoulder Roll the head around, just spiraling the top of the head. You can take some full circles here. And as you're moving, just imagine you're drawing a zero with your chin. So rather than crunching into the back of the neck, you're elongating through the front. And then you can reverse directions, continuing to warm up the neck through this spiral movement. And then come to neutral position. Bring the hands to your legs. And then we're gonna take some circles with the torso. So you can begin by moving over to the right down and around. So you can make these large circles or you can make them smaller, just moving more subtly. We're just waking up the spine here. You can imagine the spine of the body like the sculpture we just looked at. We're moving it around, spiraling it, creating energy, building heat in the body. And then reverse directions, take your spiral the other way. Keep breathing as you move. If it helps, you can continue that visualization of bringing in air, spiraling it through the body. And then come back to a neutral position. Just pause for a moment, feel the energy moving in the body after that brief movement. And just lift the hands out in front of you and we'll take some wrist circles. You can make fists with your wrists, just keep them loose here and then move them around in one direction. 
And then the other direction, sending a little energy down to our wrists, some parts of the body that we don't always give a lot of attention to. And just shake the hands out and you can bring the hands down to the sides of the chair and then lift one leg and take some ankle circles, just like we did with the wrists. Sending that energy down to the lower part of our body and then move the foot in the other direction. And release that down. We'll do the other side. Inhale the other leg up. Take some circles here. So as we're moving and opening through the ankle joint, you can continue to build strength in the body, engage through the core to hold you upright here. And then move in the other direction. And then just release that down. You can shake the legs out, tap the feet a couple times on the floor. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. And then exhale, just bring the hands down onto your shoulders. Inhale here, then exhale, twist over to the right. Inhale to center, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale back, continue like this. Exhale as you twist. Inhale as you come back to center. So we're using the breath to guide us through this movement. You can go at your own pace. You might even close your eyes and just visualize yourself as this sturdy base, just like the sculpture. And then your upper body twisting, creating this spiral figure. Continue like this a couple more times. Just waking up the spine. And then come back to neutral, release the arms down. Inhale, sweep the arms up once again. This time, just clasp your hands together. You can keep your pointer fingers pointing up. Lift them up overhead. And then bend over to the right. Now stretching along the side of the body, really ground down through your left sitting bone. And then inhale back up, exhale to the other side. For a little bit more stability and balance here, you can clasp opposite elbows or even bring the left arm down for a little more support. We'll inhale, come back up, use any of these arm variations and we'll just flow through this a couple times. Exhale to bend, inhale to rise. Exhale, bend to the other side. Inhale, take one more round just like this, feeling the elongation and stretch along the sides of the body. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, you can bring the hands to your heart center. We'll flow a little bit more here. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. And then exhale, fold forward here. The hands can come down towards the ground. They can rest on the shins or even on the thighs. Try to just release through the head and the neck. You can shake the head out a couple times. And then we'll inhale, halfway lift. Hands can come to the thighs, creating an angle through the thighs and the torso here. And then exhale, release. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. This is our half sun salutation, a nice way to build some energy, heat in the body. We'll keep moving a couple times through this. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the thighs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward. This time we're gonna switch it up a little. 
bring the right hand to the right foot and lift the left arm for a twist. The left arm can stay lifted or it can come to the lower back. Wherever you are, try to open through the chest. This is another spiral, another twist in the body. Take a couple deep breaths here. Keep grounding down through the feet. Stabilize your sit bones. And feel this twist. And then exhale, release everything back down. We'll do that on the other side. Bring your left hand to your left foot. And then inhale, lift the right arm up. It can stay lifted or it can drop down to the lower back. You can also grab onto the chair for a little more stability. Keep breathing here. So we're doing a lot of these twists today in class. These twists are really great for cleansing the body. You can imagine you're wringing it out just like a towel, like you would wring out a towel. So the next breath, just see if you can let go a little. Then inhale, lift the right arm and exhale, release it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And then exhale the hands to heart center. From here, step the feet out slightly. So they're about as wide as the chair. And the toes are facing out at an angle. So those are our goddess pose. We'll inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And then exhale, drop the right arm down, bend over towards the right with the left arm. A little side stretch, and then we'll just switch. So drop the left arm down, right arm comes up, and you bend to the left. You can inhale to come up, and then exhale, switch. And continue like this. Just moving from one side to the other. Can move slowly and just feel all the parts of the body as you transition from one side to the other. We'll take one more. Keep grounding down through your sit bones. Feel the side stretch. We're creating space in the body with each round. And then release the arms down. Keep the legs where they are. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. And then from here, just rotate your hips towards the right. I think my cat just made an appearance. And so we're here towards the right, your uh, right legs in front, left legs in the back. I'm actually doing the opposite. So we're looking, it looks like we're on the same side. So don't so I hope that doesn't confuse you. Um, we're in our warrior stance here. Hands can come to your hips or your right hand can come to the back of the chair. You can keep your back leg bent and you stay on the ball of your foot or start to straighten the leg a little to work into the hip flexor in the front of the left leg. Take a couple pulses here. You can drop the knee down and then straighten it a little bit more. Drop the knee and straighten one more time just to send a little bit of this energy opening into the hip flexor. And then from here, drop the back heel down, rotate the toes towards the front. So the right toes are still pointing to the side. The left toes are pointing forward. So they're at a 90 degree angle. Arms come out to the sides to a T. Inhale here, exhale, bring your right arm to the right leg, left arm comes overhead, side angle. Then inhale, drop the left arm down, right arm rises, reverse. Keep breathing here. 
and then inhale, come back through your warrior two with your arms extended. And just bring the hands to your hips and then rotate your legs back into the starting position, goddess pose. Take a deep breath in and out. And then we'll reverse to the other direction. So now moving over, spiraling to the left, left legs in front. The chair is under your left hip and sit bone, right legs behind you with the toes on the ground. The hips are square towards the side. Hands can be on the chair or your hips. And then we'll take those pulses, lower the back knee a little bit, and then just press it up. This doesn't need to be a big movement, just enough so you're feeling a little bit of a stretch along the right hip flexor. One more, lengthen the leg, then drop the knee, and then open back up. From here, we're gonna rotate the hips now, drop the back heel down, so the right toe is facing towards the front, left toes face towards the side. Arms come out to a T. Inhale here. And then exhale or bring your left arm to the left leg, right arm comes up overhead, side angle. Creating a stretch all along the side of the body here. The next inhale. Drop your right arm down, lift your left arm up, reverse warrior. Try to spiral the chest open here. So you're opening through the chest. Doesn't matter how low your back arm reaches, as long as you're feeling this opening. And then inhale, come back through center. Bring the hands to your hips and just rotate back to goddess and then heel toe your feet together. Nice work. We're gonna make our way up into standing. So take your time to get there, come into a standing position. And then we'll just walk over to the right side of the chair. So now the left side of your body is next to the chair. And step your feet apart. So they're about two to three feet apart. Rotate your left toes towards the chair. Your right toes stay facing forward. You can bring your arms out to a T. Inhale here, and then exhale, start to fold over your left leg. The left arm can come to the top of your chair, could come to the seat of the chair, could even come down onto your shin if that feels okay. The right arm is lifted up overhead, or it can come down to the hip. This is our triangle pose. Here, we're still thinking of that same movement of spiraling the chest open, stacking the hips one on top of the other, getting this deep stretch along the sides of the body. Take one more deep breath here, then press into your feet and slowly rise all the way up to standing. Bring the feet together, and then we'll just move to the other side of the chair and do that same pose. So now on the left side of the chair, bring your feet out so they're a couple feet apart. Arms come to a T and then bring the right toes so they face the chair. Inhale here and then exhale, start to fold over to the left. Again, the right hand can stay on the top of the chair or it could come to the seat, maybe even to your shin. Left arm can stay up overhead or it can drop down to your hip. Spiral the chest open, stack the hip. Take another big deep breath. And then press into your feet and slowly rise all the way up. Bring the feet back together. my another cats in here. I think you've seen an appearance of all three of my cats today. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna go to the back of our chair and just do a couple more standing poses here. 
So we're at the back of the chair. Then just step the, the I'm gonna do the opposite of you. So the right foot in front. So the right legs in front. The left toes face out at about a 45 degree angle. So your legs are in this position. You can bring the hands to your hips to start and just square the hips. You might need to widen your stance a little. You can play around with widening it or making it a little bit more narrow. Just find what works in your body. Inhale, lengthen here. And then exhale, just fold forward. The hands can come to the top of the chair or they can come down to the seat of the chair. This is pyramid pose. Keep pressing through the feet. Try to draw your left hip forward, right hip back. And then inhale, lift slightly and bring your left hand to the chair. Keep it on the chair. And then bring your right hand to your hip, right hand to the right hip. And then you're gonna start to twist. Just take a gentle twist at first towards the right. This is actually a revolved triangle pose. So we did triangle pose earlier on the side of the chair. Now we're doing this revolved triangle where we're twisting with the upper body. Take one more deep breath here. And then just release that. You can lift yourself up and step the feet together. We'll do that on the other side. This time, step back with your right foot. So the left foot's in front. You can play around with widening or narrowing the stance. And then point your back foot out at about a 45 degree angle. Square the hips here. Inhale, lengthen the body. And then exhale, start to fold forward. Hands can come to the top of the chair or they can come down onto the seat. Try to release through the head and the neck. If the top of the chair is in your way, you can play around with moving the chair. I'm gonna keep mine as it is. You can always rotate the chair. And take a deep breath here. And then bring the right hand to the center of the chair, left hand onto your left hip. Inhale, lengthen here and press into your feet. And exhale, take a little twist here towards the left. So don't go any farther than your body, than feels right in your body. You wanna just feel this gentle twist. We're working on strengthening the body and the legs in the core. We're also stretching the body through this twist, working on cleansing and detoxing the body. These twists are really good for cleaning the body. Take one more deep breath here. And then exhale, just release back down and lift yourself up. Come to step forward and take any movements. You might shake the legs out a little, any movements that your body's calling for. And then we'll just make our way back to a seat. So take your time to sit back on your chair. And we'll just start to cool down a little. Take a gentle back bend here. You can keep your hands on top of your thighs and just stretch the chest up, gaze up. If you wanna go a little deeper into the shoulders, you can bring your arms behind you and try to clasp your forearms together. Feel this heart opener, this back bend. And then start to release, come back to neutral position. Bring your hands back to your legs and just slide them forward and down your legs. And rest here in a forward fold. You might even hug your arms together underneath the thighs to grab opposite elbows or forearms. Release the head and neck. And just rest here in this forward fold for a couple deep breaths. These forward folds are really good for working into the parasympathetic nervous system, telling the body that it's time to rest and start to relax. 
we're protecting the front of our body where all of our vital organs are. We're also tapping into some of the nerve endings that calm the body. Take another deep breath here. And then when you're ready, you can slowly lift yourself all the way back up to a seat, to an upright position. And then settle in to a resting seated position. You can bring the hands to the thighs or just let them hang by your sides. You might stay forward, propped up on the sit bones, or you might slide back and use the back of your chair for a little more support. And close the eyes. Connect with your breath again. Notice the breath slowing down. You might visualize the spiral once again and visualize it moving a little bit slower with each breath as the body calms itself here. Take a couple more deep breaths as you rest. And then you can stay right where you are for as long as you would like, remaining here after class ends, just resting. Or if you're ready to come out, you can gently wiggle your fingertips. Wiggle your toes, start to wake the body up. Take some wrist and, wrist and ankle circles. And then you can gently open the eyes to let in a little bit of light. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead to take a full body stretch. And then exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Take a deep breath in and out. And then just as we talked about with this spiraling movement in the body, cleansing the body, allowing it to let go, we'll just take one cleansing breath together. You can just imagine letting go of anything that doesn't serve you. Inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale, let it all go. Thank you all for being here today. It's a pleasure to lead this class. I hope to see you again next week. If you have any questions or any works of art you'd like to see, you can send a message to Lucy at stuartl at cmoa.org and she may there we go, she left her email in the chat box if you'd like to see it. Again, thank you for joining today. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste.